the Messiah projects, the Buddha, son of Maya. After the great war which freed humankind from its masters, the daughters of Ma, quote unquote Doma, took over its education and civilization. They decided to use a control system already in place, religion, whereas before it had been used to control humans and keep them within a certain area, it would now be used to bring them education, basic social, basic societal concepts, and most important of all, the laws and word of God. What is important to realize here is that although the human members of the collective were thousands of years more advanced than even we are today, they did then and now still do believe in a unifying force known to them as the One. There are certain truths and laws of conduct they believe and made manifest to life by the One. I'm going to read that again. There are certain truths and laws of conduct they believe and are made, are made manifest to life by the One. We know this as the laws and word of God. It was their intent to bring humankind this knowledge. The program itself was vast, far too complicated and large to be covered in full here. Instead, we will focus on the last 1,500 years of the project. During this time, a series of quote-unquote teachers were sent to mankind. I have already covered the general purpose for this. So let us now look at what these teachers tried to teach. One last important fact to remember is this. All these men were sent by an advanced human female, not a god. She has been worshipped from the very beginning of human history. Although this woman is of a royal caste among her people, she should not be thought of as god. Rather, think of her as the greatest of all the prophets of God. She is the queen of prophetesses, the queen of the heavens, the queen of peace. She is not God, nor does she wish you to think this. View her in the highest regard and with respect, for it is she who freed you from the harness of the tyrants. It is she who stood between you and certain annihilation when her people thought you too evil to allow to continue. It is she who has brought you the prophets and the laws and word of God. Thank her by being true human beings of intelligence and compassion. Buddha, originally Siddhartha Gautama, Gautama born 563 to 483 BC, Indian mystic and founder of Buddhism. He began preaching after achieving supreme enlightenment at the age of 35. Thus have I heard. The Buddha was the first of the later prophets. His main mission was to introduce and explain two basic and simple concepts. That there are only two types of thought, right? And wrong. Two, how to become a human being, a human being utilizing the power of doing only that which is right. That is, no cosmic theology, no mystical and coded mythology, or secret rituals. Just the basic difference between right and wrong in all things. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Sounds simple, does it not? <laughs> Therein lies a truth and a lesson in understanding. Truths are from God, and as such they are perfect. Truths are in the simplest form possible. They are stripped of double meaning, confusion, and illusion. They state a simple fact that is as easily comprehended by a child as it is a scholar. A truth will trigger that little piece of God in each of us that knows right from wrong. You must learn to trust your own ability to see the truth. 
it will be very important later on as we try to pick through the mass of confusion, lies, and just plain evil that man has intermixed with the laws and word of God. A little hint, if you have to have a priest explain it to you, it isn't. With that said, let us look at the Buddha, the enlightened one of God. The Buddha held to what he called the golden rule. All that we are is the result of what we have thought. The Buddha was born 2,500 years ago and approximately 500 years before Jesus. He was born in a royal family of India. Legends say that he was born from the great virgin Maya. This is the Hindu version of Mary. You know, you now know, of course, that he was the product of the Doma Messiah project. He did not start his career until he was in his 30s. The event that led to his enlightenment are quite interesting. One day, the Buddha sat under the bow tree. This tree is called the tree of wisdom or enlightenment. It is the same tree associated with the goddess image throughout the world. Deborah sat under the palm tree. Isis had her holy tree at Mataria, to which both Mary and Jesus fled in Egypt. The point is this. Most goddesses had a tree shrine linked to them. It is this tree that the Buddha now sits under. He falls into a deep meditation and thus begins the enlightenment. The spot where he sat is now called the immovable spot, since he stayed there for 49 days. It was here that the goddess Maya tempted him. She wanted to see if he was indeed worthy enough to receive enlightenment. I will not go into this particular test with the Buddha. I want to save it for the next way message. Jesus was tested in the exact same manner, and I will use his example to show you the others. After his awakening, the Buddha began to teach the masses of the law and word of God. His most famous lesson was given to the people of Benares. Buddhists hold his teachings there in the same light as Christians hold the Sermon on the Mount. Let me stop here for a moment and explain a very important thing to you. The reason I am going through all the messiahs and their basic message is this. Most of you consider the other religions to be false with false prophets. Yet many of you do not know what these other men said or what their religions contained. Now for instance, for instance, of the Christians out there reading this, how many do you think have read the Quran or studied the teachings of the Buddha? Almost none. Why? Because they have been told not to. Plain and simple. Of that group, many condemn without even knowing that which they condemn. It is my hope and the hope of she who sent me that you will see the underlying truth in all of these religions that they all say the same thing and all come from the same source. That said, let, let's get back to the enlightened one. At Benares, the Buddha gave the people his main message. He told them there were four basic truths they should know. One, all 